Hello there guys, Mr. Missing in Action back with another video on Ray Shadow Legends for you. Um, I'm really excited about this M1 actually. Uh, patch 2.2 has just dropped in the last few hours um, and I've got a, a Jotun to showcase you. Um, Jotun has received a big buff in this patch actually. Um, so let's take a look at him. Um, we'll take a look at what Plarium have actually done to him. Um, what they've basically done with this guy is uh, all of his skills, his damage used to be based off attack while he was a HP champion. Um, he has a, an incredibly low attack value actually, so he used to hit like a, a bit of a wet fish or a wet noodle. Um, but now they've, uh, they've basically realigned him so that all of his skills, the damage is now based off of HP. Um, so we've got damage off HP on the A1, attacks one enemy, 30% uh, chance of placing the small version of decreased defense. So the skill itself is the same, the damage is now based off of HP. Um, Burning Blade, single attack again, he's all single attacks actually. 75% um, chance of placing the HP Burn debuff for four turns. Uh, really, really solid, I'm looking forward to trying it out in Clan Boss. And on the A3, Sear Away, this one has changed in terms of the skill. Uh, still a single enemy, decreases the target's max HP by 30%, so that's a bit worthless actually. Um, but what has uh, changed is that the damage now increases by 50%, if the target is under the HP burn. So that does tie in nicely with his uh, his A2 uh, burning blade. So yeah, that, that's what they've really done with him is they've, uh, they've switched him up from a damage based on attack to damage based on HP. So uh, in, terms of, uh, in terms of stats and artifacts, uh, I've focused heavily on HP um, and I've also put him in a lifesteal set ready for clan boss. Um, the gear is not fully leveled up as of yet, um, the patch hit unexpectedly, um, and I don't unfortunately have the silver to, to fully max out all the, uh, the artifacts uh, and the accessories. But if we take a look at his stats very quickly, um, HP, I've got him up at 49,000, I'm sure you can take this higher. Uh, defense, just over 2,500, which is good for Brutal Clan Boss, which is where we're going to try him out. Speed a little low, 133. Um, crit rate is a bit low at 41%, I would have liked that higher, 100% uh, crit damage. So he's not a perfect build, um, but let's see what he can do with uh, minimal uh, stats in terms of crit rate and crit damage. Give you guys that are further on in the game a good idea of, uh, of what he can do towards the real end game. I've built his accuracy up to 109, which should be sufficient to land that HP burn uh, on the clan boss. So we'll see how we get on when we go to the clan boss. So yeah, Jotun, I'm really excited to find out what uh, what changes have been made in terms of his damage output. Um, masteries, we're fully mastered up. If we take a look at the masteries, I've gone down the typical clan boss uh, route, ending in, uh, in in the war master. Uh, on the support, we've gone down the excess the uh, the accuracy uh, route, uh, and we've also thrown in uh, evil eye, so we can decrease the turn meter on the A1 and uh, Master Hexer, so we have a chance of extending the, uh, the HP burn for a further turn. That'll take it up to five turns, the HP burn, if that pulls off. So, let's start out by taking him into the campaign. Um, we'll have a go uh, in Brutal 12-3, see what kind of damage he puts out now. Um, here we go then, so Brutal 12-3. I've got him set up, I'll be honest, I've already tried it before recording the video. Here we go, let's take a quick look, see what kind of damage you can put out here. Um, let's go for it. So Jotun, here we go, over to you. 24,500 there on the first strike. Um, what are we going to do here? Let's have a look. Sear away, 11.7. So it's not massive, but I haven't got him built up with high crit rate or high crit damage. Um, I can get him a lot higher in, in the future, I'm sure. 15,000 there. It's definitely a massive improvement over where he was, though, guys. This guy was hitting so soft. He's this great big beefcake barbarian, and he was sitting like a, the, the wet noodle or the wet fish. So here we go. We're, uh, we'll see how we get on here. We've got 11 and a half. Um, so when he's critting, he's doing about 25 for me at the minute. Um, but with, uh, with full crit rate uh, and more crit damage... Um, I'm sure this guy could be pushing 50, actually, on a single strike. Um, okay, let's keep going, keep going. 23-6, 14-7 there, 17. I'm pretty impressed with the improvements that they've made to Jotun, actually. 
Um, really, really seems to be solid now. Let's see what the next strike is. It's never going to be the fastest run. T over 28,000 there. It's never going to be the fastest of runs, of course, in the campaign. He's a single striker. Uh, nearly 20. No, I'm, I'm really impressed with the improvements they've made here. Over 7, 16 there. Come on then, Joten, finish him off. One at a time, that's the thing. Nearly 28,000. And over 15. So this is this is a really significant improvement over where he was. Okay, so yeah, it, it looks like he's going to be pretty solid in terms of clan boss. So let's give him a try. Okay, so here we go. Let's take him into the clan boss. And we'll go for Brutal, as they say. And here he is. I've got him with Sepulchre Sentinel for the decrease uh, attack. Uh, and the block debuffs. Kale for some poisons. Um, I've got my Painkeeper for the AoE heal. Uh, and I've actually got Rock Breaker in at the minute. Built with high defense. Um, and uh, Warmaster proc as well, of course. And he hits relatively hard. I'd be curious to see how Jotun compares to my Rock Breaker, actually. So here we go. Let's go straight into it. Let's check out what the first few hits are like, see if he gets that HP burn down, and then I'll come back in at the end of the, uh, the clan boss fight and we'll take a look at the damage. Okay, so, here we go. I want to see Jotun's first strike. What are we going to do? Burning Blade, 30,000 and he puts the HP burn on. Four turns. So this is pretty good. Guys, I'm going to bring you in at the end of the clan boss fight now. So let's see how he gets on. Um, I'm hoping we're going to get a pretty good damage output from this guy now. Okay guys, so we're coming in towards the end of the fight now. There is just uh, Jotun and, well, I was just about to say Jotun and Rockbreaker left. Rockbreaker's just gone down. So Jotun, just gone down as well, nearly 7 million, 6.79 million. Let's take a look at the damage. Yep, Jotun, two and a quarter million. Jotun accounted for a third of the damage. He outdamaged Kale, my main poisoner. He outdamaged Rockbreaker as well. Um, yeah, th this guy, uh, he's not even built completely, as you saw at the beginning of the video. This guy is, is going to do some serious damage to the clan boss. Um, absolutely build this guy up if you have him. Um, I'm so glad I did it, actually. Right, let's, uh, let's skip out of the clan boss. And let's go and give him a quick try in the arena, actually. Um, let's see if I can find a, an arena fight I can throw him into. Um, I have been working on building up my bronze uh, arena tokens. So I've, uh, I've currently dropped my way down into bronze 3. So it should give us a good indicator of what uh, Jotun can do. Here we go. Let's find a, a fight for Jotun. Quick as you can, Plarium. Here we go. Right. Um, let's just go for anything. Here we go. So let's bring uh, Jotun in. We'll bring him in for... Uh, uh, we'll bring him in for Apothecary, actually. Here we go. Let's put Jotun in and see how he gets on. Now, he is only a single target uh, Nuka, so uh, let, let's see what kind of damage he can do to, against these guys in the arena. So, here we go. Start with my high cartoon, speed everybody up. Drop the defense, increase the attack, which is not going to work for Jotun. His damage is based off of HP. Kale could just completely wipe them out here, actually. Yeah, he has done. So, well, we'll try again. Yeah, there's this new, uh, there's new uh, resources, actually, that you can gain from the arena. Uh, Magisteel here, used to craft artifacts in the forge. Um, so, we'll, so we'll take a look at for the forge in a future video. Uh, but I really wanted to get my Jotun video out. Let's see if I can... Uh, let's take Kale out, actually, because Kale is, uh, is my heavy nuker. Let, let's go here. And let's take Kale out. Uh, we'll put Apothecary back in. Make sure that Jotun actually gets to go before the opponents. Here we go. Let's try it again. Here we go then. So, speed everybody up. And again. Drop the defense. Over to you in a minute, Jotun. Here we go. Right. So, let's take a look at the skills. So, we don't want to start with this one because we want to put the HP burn on first before we go with that one. So let's try this. The attacks one enemy, 75% chance of HP burn. And let's go for... Uh, let's try... Let's try Tila Gourmet, actually. Here we go. Okay, 13 and 5 from the proc. She's on fire. 
Okay, and let's see if we can get round and see what the extra damage is on the A3 as soon as we get there. Oh, he's asleep, that's unfortunate. Okay, that is unfortunate. Stay alive, Jotun. Let's see what you can do. Let's see what you can do to Teela while she's under the burn. I don't expect to win this one. This is just a showcase. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, here we go then. A1. 16 plus 5 for the proc. So he's, he's hitting pretty hard. Um, I do need to build him up better. He's outlasted the rest of my team, obviously, because of his high HP. Here we go. He's about to die, but yeah, that's uh, that's Jotun for you. Okay, guys, so that's been Jotun. Um, in terms of a buff, I think it's pretty significant in terms of the damage that he's doing. Um, is it game-changing? No, of course not. Um, is he worth taking out of your vault and building up? Yeah, I think he probably is now for Clan Boss. Um, he, he's not Turvold, of course, um, but he's, he's definitely a, a second to him. Um, the fact that he out damaged my Kale, uh, throwing all his poisons, and my Kale is an, an end game build, uh, was, it was pretty impressive. So yeah, in terms of Jotun, I think he's gone from a sort of a 1 or a 2 out of 10 up to about a 7 or an 8. Um, definitely worth building up, and he's certainly going to feature in my Barbarian Faction Wars team. Anyway guys, so my name has been Mr. Missing in Action. Please, if you've enjoyed the video, if you found it informative, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Leave a like and help me to grow my channel. I'm here to help you guys. I really want to continue doing this. It's great fun. I enjoy doing it. So thank you very much. Peace out, guys.